Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a bit about lifestyle and a lot about personal finance and investments. In the past few videos, I've been talking about real estate investment trusts or REITs and how this financial instrument is designed to give you great returns in terms of its dividend yields. Now continuing this discussion on high dividend yields, I recently came across another financial instrument that gives you high dividend yields, but this time your exposure will be in the global markets. What investment instrument is that? Stick around and let's find out. Now recently, I came across BPI's Global Asset Multi-Income Fund, and this is in partnership with Ayala Life. Now this financial instrument is also promising as it's stated to give you a dividend yield of over 3-5% to with your dividends coming in monthly in the form of additional shares in this current fund. Now this fund was actually launched earlier this year in January 2021 even though it's new and not even one year in the country. What you can go by in terms of historical performance would be its target fund, which is the BlackRock Multi-Asset Income Fund, the global fund that's being managed by BlackRock from its global headquarters. So looking at the numbers, how has this fund performed in the last few years? It has cumulative returns of over 57%. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, those are personally great returns. Over 90% of the funds that BPI is managing is actually mimicking the performance of that BlackRock fund. So you can definitely use that as basis. So what is this fund really all about? Well, dissecting it further, first it's global. The split is actually about 60 to 65% invested in North America, 15% for Europe, and another 15% for other emerging markets. And the rest of that would be split among Japan and other nations. So what does the fund actually invest in in these countries? The majority of the fund, over 60%, is invested in fixed income securities, while the rest would be U.S. equities and also non-U.S. equities. If you wanted just a sample of what U.S. equities it's invested in, it's invested in Google, Citigroup, Taiwan Semiconductors, just to name a few. In addition to these equities, the fund is also invested in some ETFs. So with this fund, I guess it's a little bit like a balanced fund, except that a balanced fund locally would be primarily more invested in more equities, whereas this fund, as shared earlier, would be invested more in fixed income securities. Now for me, at 3-5% to annual dividend yields, it's similar to REITs, but the advantage of this is being invested in the global markets, whereas the REITs that we've previously talked about are invested in a specific company. And of course, these specific companies would only be focused on the local market. So with this global fund, you are at least increasing your exposure and your potential returns as you expose yourself better to the global markets. So again, for me, I've talked about it before. I like to invest both locally and in global funds because you never know what's going to happen locally. You also don't know what's going to happen globally. But at least you are diversifying your bets, you are putting your eggs in different baskets, and maybe, hopefully, these will yield you better returns. But this is one way for you to make sure that you're not overly invested in just one market or just one financial instrument. This is one way of you reassuring yourself that you have different bets that can help you win. So other things that you might want to consider, there is a 1% annual fee. This is typical of managed funds such as UITFs or mutual funds. I guess for me, that's the only downside of investing in this fund versus REITs. REITs, you don't really have to give a percentage to others other than the fees for the brokerage. But for these managed funds, you are actually entrusting your funds to a certain group. At least you are guaranteed that they are trying to make this fund perform better for you and other prospective investors. So how do you invest in the BPI Ayala Life Global Multi-Asset Income Fund? Log into your BPI online account. If you're new to BPI investment funds, make sure that you accomplish the investor risk profile. Once you've logged into your dashboard, make sure you go to the investment section. There are two risk profile updates that you can take. The first one is under Unit Investment Trust Funds or UITFs, and the other is Mutual Funds. Make sure to take the ones under Mutual Fund Risk Profile Update. So that investment risk profile will assess you if BPI is recommending for you to go into just say funds or riskier funds. So make sure you answer it in a way that would exude your confidence and tolerance be investing in higher risk funds. Don't quote me on that, I'm not a financial advisor. Just a tip for you to be able to invest in these funds. Once you've accomplished the risk profile update, you can now select the account which you'd like to make your new subscription for. After indicating your account, you will be then brought to the next page 
where you will be selecting the type of fund that you would be investing in. Click on ALFM Global Multi-Asset Income Fund. So I agree, I have read and understood the risk disclosures of this fund. Clicking on next. You can get started for as little as 5,000 pesos. For succeeding investments, you can get in for as little as 1,000 pesos. Once you've input the amount, click on next. Basically, this is just summarizing if I want to proceed. Take note of the cutoff times. For orders after 11 a.m., they will be processed the next banking day. So once you click on proceed, you will then be given a one-time pin. Inputting the one-time pin here. And that should be it. The subscription order is successful. The expected processing time would be about three banking days. I input my order on September 28th and got my confirmation email on October 1. And again, for me, I'd actually rather invest in these bank-managed funds rather than other new players. Although I've shared in previous videos that I do get to invest in some of those new apps or other non-bank investment groups. But for me personally, I do put a bit more of my money in these bank-managed funds because again, I'm traditional. I just feel safer with my money in these banks. So this is not a paid partnership, but BPI, if you want to partner up, let me know. <laughs> what do you think, guys? In terms of high dividend yields, do you prefer REITs? Or would you prefer this fund that is invested in the global market? If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, guys, and happy investing.